So I'm six and four now. Jeff, you're five and five. Better luck this week as we have number 12 LSU at number seven Auburn. That's 3.30 on Saturday. I'll let you go first. Okay. LSU is great because it's Joe Burrow and we want him to do well for whatever reason. Do as we though? Buckeye fans. We, okay. We want we want him to do really good, just not as good as Dwayne Haskins. So, and the Buckeyes. So I and I love Ed Ordron. So, uh, well, I let I love Ed Ordron's voice. Yeah. So I mean, he's I, your he's your favorite. I'm gonna go with Ed Ordron's voice for the win. Uh, I'm gonna go with Auburn. I think even with their punter mysteriously leaving, um, they're they're gonna be okay. It's the first big SEC matchup for the two teams, and as you know, you said Ed Ordron, one of your favorite coaches to listen to. That's um, great. I just don't think he can get this football team together. LSU did fare better and ranked to be ranked so far this year. Uh, I still have Auburn coming out on top by seven. I'll add that in there. By Boise seven. State, number 17 at number 24, Oklahoma State. That is also 3.30 p.m. Saturday. Jeff, who you got, Broncos or Cowboys? Boise State actually traveling to face a good team. Um, Three-point underdog, in fact. Oh, look yeah. at you with the stats here. Hey, I looked at Away a, from the blue turf. I didn't like how it went last week. I felt like I sounded like an idiot, so I was like, It's all right, gonna, you went 5-0. and oh. Well, yeah, I know, but I'm going to read up on it this week, and that's, I'll probably do your much problem. worse. That's, that's your problem. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I... Boise State is the ranked team. You said they're underdogs by three points. They are. As the higher ranked team. Yes. At Oklahoma State. Mike Gundy, um, pretty good football coach there. He's a man. I don't know if you know this. He's 40. Over 40. Well over 40 now. Got a glorious mullet. (laughs) He does have a wonderful mullet. And a host of exotic animals at his home. Oklahoma State knows how to play offense. They always have. They're in the Big 12. They run and gun. Shoot shoot a lot of points up there. The pokes. Um, Boise State pretty good at defense so this will be an interesting matchup to actually see a a lesser conference a good team in a lesser conference play a good team in a good conference i'd I'd say oklahoma state's pretty good so this is an interesting ranked versus ranked um you know i'm gonna gonna say oklahoma state's gonna come away with a win here really i'm gonna go with the broncos i'm gonna say boise state you you touted their defense as kind of the shining star here but they've scored 118 points so far but over two games. No, that's not too bad. So I'm going to say that Boise State takes this one. Who have they played? And they go the back to their. Games? It doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> so they're going to go back to the blue turf with a victory. Number four, OSU, sitting at uh, the other OSU. Texas with number 15, TCU. That one's 8 p.m. on Saturday. And uh, Jeff, you get first whack at this one again. You got to know I'm going man. with the Buckeyes. Well, yeah, of course. Dwayne Haskins has had a fantastic start to his career. I think he's got almost 600 yards passing and nine touchdowns to one interception uh, as the starter for Ohio State and clearly hasn't played full games in the first two games. Hasn't yeah. played anybody pretty anybody any good. So uh, I think Dwayne Haskins keeps it rolling. TCU is not the same TCU team that they've been in the past uh, they sh- struggled in their first couple of games. I don't think the 15th ranking is deserved just because they were preseason ranked high. Um, doesn't mean they're actually that good, which that's a whole other argument. So I think OSU uh, is going to win this one relatively handily. Yeah, Not the, as easily as the past two games, but relatively handily. The Horn Frogs are kind of in trouble because the shining spot of Ohio State has kind of been their defense and Nick Boza. And uh, Chase Young, I, I think, is the other defense band, right? Um, TCU lost a majority of their linemen. They lost four seniors from the line last year. Their offensive line? Yes. Wow. And now they have a rotating tackle. And so two guys that are playing <laughs> left tackle, it's going to be That's a field a day for situation. Nick Boza. <laughs> yeah. Uh, good so luck. Honestly, like, he's got three sacks and has pretty much played only one full game of football. He's not played he much a, in the second he had a half. Fumble at all. forced and recovery for a touchdown. Yeah. So I, I think the Ohio State offense do, does okay. I think Dwayne Haskins, this is going to be his biggest test so far. So it'll be fun to see him kind of struggle a little bit just because we haven't seen him struggle at all. And then, you know, the defense is going to pick it up too. I have OSU winning as well. All right. That brings us to number 22, USC at Texas. Go Longhorns. Uh, 8 there's, p.m. on Saturday. There's a lot of 
press for this, a lot of media coverage for this, yep. trying to tout it to make it something big, and it's really not because neither of these teams are really that good. Right. The 22 ranking for USC, I'm not Just because they're with. USC. Texas yep. started the season ranked just because they're Texas. Um, they're talking about this is the trilogy, the third game between these two. The first one was an instant classic, the best game ever. It was when Vince Young won the national championship on that fourth down. Um, yes, it was top five football games, college football games ever. Yeah. So that was a great game. Last year, this game went into double overtime between these two teams. So that's a pretty good game just because it went to double overtime. Yeah. You know, 27-24, the final score of that one. Pretty good game. This one, I mean, it's not going to go to double overtime. It's not for a national championship. It's not a great cap to the trilogy. Oftentimes, the third movie is better than the second movie. I, I just I don't even see that happening in this one. Um, so you think Star Wars Episode Three was better than Episode One? Yes. Yeah. It, I could debate it either way. <laughs> I, don't <know. laughs> I don't know what the right answer is. Yeah, that. there is no right answer there. Um, I think I said I said three is better than two. One's usually well, the best. Okay. Three's better I than two. I can 100% get behind that. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think USC is going to win this one just mm. because I I got mm. I have no reason I don't I don't think Texas is that good I don't think Tom Herman uh, has been living up to what he had made himself out to be at Houston so he's not really working that great in Texas right now yeah, it's I mean, a tough place to win though but both teams won and won and Texas did lose to Maryland Maryland not necessarily the for best the second in the year world. in a row. Lost to Maryland. Uh, right. And so JT Daniels, though, of USC has not been filling in all that well for <laughs> Sam Darnold now that do, he is. Do you know anything NFL. about this kid? JT he Daniels? He should be a senior in col- in high school right now. What? Yeah. How old is he? He, gradu- he graduated high school a year early and enrolled at USC and is starting as a true freshman. Well, should be a se- high school senior. He had some fourth quarter demons last week, <laughs> and he just <laughs> threw two interceptions, and Stanford ended up rolling over them 17-3. Stanford's a pretty good team. Uh, yeah, Bryce Love is going to win the Heisman this year. I, I will put Hot my take. stamp on that now. Hot take. And Bryce Love wins the, the <laughs> He'll get Heisman. second place because that's what Stanford running backs do. So Texas still the 3.5 point favorite here against uh usc home home field advantage i'm gonna take it i'll go with the over take gonna, the points yeah and uh i think this is usc's first trip to austin since 1966 the and they are going to just not be able to handle the crowd longhorns win number 21 miami at toledo unranked toledo and that is 12 p.m. on Saturday. That'll be in the glass bowl in toledo i just picked this one because it's interesting that miami's at toledo well, and that, that's the other thing, too. Last year, Toledo was at Miami, mm-hmm. almost spoiled their season. Mm-hmm. Now, granted, Miami didn't make it in the top four, but this was a, a bad big game the where, year. yeah, they, they did not perform well. I think they might have gotten docked a spot, even mm-hmm. for having it be so close. Toledo was winning at halftime, and then Miami ended up blowing them out in the fourth quarter. But for the Toledo Rockets, like that was their season last year. It's holy crap. Like, we almost beat Miami. We almost beat this big team. Before last week, uh, Miami, where Miami won 77 to nothing against Savannah State, uh, Miami was on like a four game losing streak, going back three games, last yeah. three games of last year lost, and then lost to LSU in the first week this season. Um, let's see what the final score was last year against Toledo 52 to 30 was your final score. So I, I think the But you said you were right. Uh Toledo was winning sixteen to ten at halftime. Yeah. And then uh, Miami came out in the second half. Malik Rozier or Rozier? Yeah. Rozier. Um still not sold on him as a good Miami quarterback. Uh they're definitely missing Brad Kaya. Um but Mark Richt doesn't even seem <laughs> You're sold just like on saying his name. Malik, Malik Rozier played for him last year too. Yeah. But I, I don't think Mark Richt is sold on him. He's not got great numbers, and really, Mark Rick this week said, whoever gives us the best shot is going to start at quarterback. Who is their second-string quarterback? I don't know. So, <laughs> Mark Rick just doesn't seem to have a whole lot of confidence. Miami is favored 10.5 in this one. I think they do end up taking it away. Uh, still a pretty good defense Did overall. Did Mark Rick say that? Yeah. Right. Malik Rozier has, on the season... 23 for 47 for 390 yards, three right. touchdowns, and two picks. That's not good. That's one game. 
No, that's two games. Like that's I know, but that's like one good game. Like you should have got that against Savannah State. I don't know how much he played. And then in Cozy Perry, nine for fourteen for ninety three yards and three touchdowns to one interception. So I'm taking Miami here. Who you got? I'm taking Miami as well. I think Miami is the better team. Um, I just put this again. I just put this on here because it's at Toledo, and that's fun to talk about. At Toledo, the glass manufacturer of the world. The glass bowl. It is the glass bowl. 